So, you have a movie for me? I am a collector! Australian Legends! This is... Go. What's up everyone, it's Adam from FWCI and I'm gonna have a look at Bruce Stew's backyard camping video. Uh, I really don't like camping. I think camping's fucked. Uh, it's a very popular thing in Australia. Mates do it all the time. I'm never up for camping. I just think it's the worst possible way to spend a f***ing weekend to be completely honest. I don't know, it's just me. But backyard camping when I was a kid I remember one particular time I had a whole bunch of friends over. I think it was my birthday. We just put a, a tent out in the backyard and we were just out there joking and laughing and being, you know, dickheads. I was probably only like 10 years old or so. Being complete dickheads, you know, parents came out multiple times, screamed at us. Uh, yeah, we were not settled at all that night. We could not contain ourselves. But I'm interested to see if Bruce Juice had a similar uh, experience. So hit the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's check it out. All right, you remember when you were a kid and you'd camp in your own backyard like an idiot? I well, do. I do because I did it all the time. But it wasn't in my backyard. We would always camp out behind my next door neighbor Michael's house instead. And one night in particular, we pitched a tent in his backyard and we were all set to experience the wild, wild wilderness of a northwestern Ohio neighborhood. Now, this little camping trip sucked ass for a couple of reasons. For one, the only thing Michael brought to eat was a goddamn box of croutons. And for two, the only game that we had to play was the game Guess Who. And playing <laughs> Guess Who with Michael sucked ass because he'd always ask stupid questions all the time. Um, does your person look like my Uncle Bob? Like, I never met your Uncle Bob. How the hell should I know? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, uh, is your person Jewish? So after a few hours of eating croutons <laughs> and me absolutely destroying Michael at Guess Who, we go to sleep. <laughs> but we don't sleep for long because all of a sudden, something starts rummaging outside in Michael's backyard. Oh. Now, us being dumbass, vulnerable children, we were a little apprehensive. Michael, go out there and see if there's, like, a kidnapper out there trying to have their way with us. Why do I have to do it? Because nobody's gonna be able to tolerate your ass long enough to kidnap you in the first place that's why <laughs> oh, okay good point so michael goes out there to investigate meanwhile i'm in the tent listening for sounds of michael being murdered in case i have to make a clean getaway all of a sudden michael leaps back into the tent and starts freaking out there's a wolverine in our garbage can there's a what a goddamn wolverine and it's super pissed off michael, there is not a wolverine in your garbage can wolverines live in like alaska or some shit i stick my head out of the tent to try to see what the hell michael's babbling about but it's like 10 o'clock at night and i can't see a damn thing i got an idea maybe if i make animal noises it'll scare it off <laughs> Michael, what the fuck kind of animal noise is that? It's a wolverine. That's what wolverines sound like, isn't it? There's probably people walking down the street and shit. <laughs> Oh, what the hell is that? A wolverine? I thought those things were in like Alaska or some shit. So now we both decide to venture outside to see what's going on. And I'm not gonna lie, part of me was like, what if dumbass Michael's right? What if somehow a wolverine prances his ass all the way down from Alaska to murder us in our sleep? Uh, maybe we should grab something to protect ourselves, you know, just in case. So there we are, grabbing whatever we can find in Michael's backyard. Michael's over there with a wiffle ball bat. I got a goddamn Undertaker action figure to defend myself. We get closer to the garbage cans, and we figure out that it is indeed not a wolverine. It's a goddamn possum. I'm a possum. Ah, oh, sick. Michael, that's a goddamn possum, not a wolverine. So I have possums living in my front yard, so you hear those motherfuckers on the roof all the goddamn time. They are menaces, but we love them. I huck this Undertaker action figure at it like it's a goddamn throwing knife. It bounces off the garbage can, and that really pisses the possum off, so it starts flying at us like a goddamn Ninja Turtle. I dive my ass back in the tent like I'm in a Jason Statham movie, but Michael's ass decides- Hang on a second, what are these feral, vicious possums, man? Possums are the most, like, stay out of your fucking business animals ever. You're lucky if you even get to see one. I to run into his house instead, like the big wuss that he is. So there I am, sitting in a tent with a goddamn crouton box. Surely Michael's not gonna leave me out here and let that possum have its way with me. Oh, he's but leaving that's you. exactly what Michael's ass did. So 20 minutes go by and I'm like, ah, oh, to hell with it. I'm just gonna have to make a break for it to Michael's house. I peek out of the tent. I'm all nervous and shit. Hell, I don't even have the Undertaker with me for protection. Now I'm armed with a fucking <laughs> box of croutons of all things. So there I am, running through Michael's backyard like it's the goddamn beaches of Normandy. I go through Michael's back door and into his kitchen, and I think I'm 
in the clear. That is, until I realize Michael Stepdad's in his underwear getting a beer out of the fridge. Oh, sick, he's wearing whitey tighties for Christ's sake. What the hell are you looking at? And what the hell are you doing with our box of croutons? What are we, feeding the whole goddamn neighborhood? So after being threatened by a possum and seeing a grown man in his underwear, I decide that I've had enough for the night and I take my ass home. The next day, I go up to Michael like, dude, thanks for abandoning me in your backyard with nothing to defend myself but a fucking box of bread. Well, what did you want me to do? There was a goddamn Wolverine in the garbage. Michael, it was not a Wolverine. Yes, it was. It was a Wolverine and it was going, tra la 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 la. God damn it, Michael. For the last time, it was a possum, Fuckin not a Wolverine. Me. Wolverines live in Alaska and they sure as hell don't go, tra la 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 la. Hey, have you guys seen a Wolverine around here? I swear, I keep hearing a fucking Wolverine. <laughs> Who's this guy that's a Wolverine expert living in their fucking neighborhood? Oh my god, yeah, nah, that, that. Um, I never had any, like, interactions with real wild, dangerous creatures. I had a uh, peacock appear on my fucking roof one time. That was pretty fucking random. Uh, I've seen kangaroos bounce down the street, like, maybe once or twice in my life. Um... We've really had snakes. We just got spiders everywhere. Spiders are the main one, I guess. Uh, yeah, no, definitely no vicious, violent, rabid possums. Are you sure he wasn't a, a raccoon? That sounds more like a raccoon. I don't know. Maybe I'm the one who cracked the code on this. Was it a fucking raccoon that went? -la 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 -la? <laughs> but that was hilarious. Go check out Bruce Jew. Their videos are absolutely awesome. I recommend them highly. I'm going to continue to react to them. The views don't do the greatest, but honestly, I don't care because these videos are always hilarious. So subscribe if you're new, hit the like button, and as always, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.